بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته How are you my students? I hope that you're happy and healthy and ready for today's lesson which is the unit for the project so we'll be doing a lot of stuff today I'll be telling you to do something and instructing you to do some research about some specific uh, sports so before we do that let's open our workbook page 112 112 we will be answering some questions revising our previous uh, Lessons, exercise J, read the texts and write which sports are being described. Choose five sports from the list, underline the words or phrases that help you. So we have a list here, football, hockey, ping pong or table tennis, volleyball, basketball, badminton, baseball, taekwondo, tennis, polo and squash. So we have a list here. So only five of these are correct. As mentioned in the question, only choose five sports from the list. So we'll be listening to these paragraphs here and you will put the correct sport in the first, in the, in the gap in the beginning of each paragraph. So let's listen to these paragraphs together and choose which, and try to, uh, try to choose which is the correct sport. Let's listen to the first one here. One. A bat and ball sport played between two teams of nine players each. The objective of the game is to score runs by hitting a ball with a bat and touching the four bases arranged at the corners of a 90-foot square or diamond-shaped field. Teams take turns batting and fielding. The fielding team tries to stop three hitters of the batting team from touching the base. The players on the batting team take turns hitting the ball that the pitcher of the fielding team throws. It has become the national sport of the United States. So I think just from the first two or three words here, a bat and a ball. Which sports use the a, a bat, a stick, let's say, a bat and a ball. So it says here a bat and ball sports played between two teams of nine players each. So the first one is what? Let's see the answer here together. It's baseball. Baseball. As I said from the beginning, when it says a bat and a ball, I think here it became very obvious. Number two here. So number two, let's listen to number two. Two. A team sport in which two teams of five players try to score points by throwing a ball through a hoop mounted on a backboard. The team with the most points at the end of the game wins. The ball can be advanced on the court by bouncing it while running or passing it to a teammate. Players are not allowed to take steps carrying the ball in their hands. Rule violations are called fouls. So here it says a team sport which of which teams of five players. So two teams, each team is five players try to score points. So it calls, it's called points, not goals. Points by throwing a ball through a hoop. A hoop, it's like a net through a hoop uh, mounted on a back board. The team with the most points at the end of the game wins. So they are using a ball and it's forbidden to carry the ball even, even though this sport is using uh, hands, but it's forbidden to carry the ball with your hands. So. Yes, very good. It is the basketball. It's basketball. The ball can be advanced on the court by bouncing it while running or passing it to a teammate. Players are not allowed to take steps carrying the ball, so it's forbidden to carry the ball, as I said, in their hands. Rule violations are called uh, fouls. So this is basketball. Number three, let's listen. Three. It is a game that can be played by two or four players. The players hit a lightweight, hollow ball back and forth using rackets as they stand at the two ends of a hard table divided by a net. Players have to hit the ball to return it to their opponent after only one bounce. The pace of the game is very quick and players need to react accordingly. So this is a game where there's a net and there's a ball and uh, it's uh, fast paced because the pace as I mentioned here in the, in the ending, the pace of the game is very quick and players need to react accordingly. 
In the beginning, it says it's a game that can be played by two or four players. The players hit a lightweight, hollow ball. So the ball is light because it's hollow. It's not like a baseball heavy, it's light. Back and forth using rackets. So it has a net, it has rackets, it's very quick paced. So let's see the answer. Let's see the answer here. It's ping pong or table tennis. It's the ping pong because you can play uh, two players, one against one or two against two. Ping pong or table tennis. Number four here, let's listen. Four. It is claimed to be the world's most popular martial art. A loose translation of its name could be the art of the foot and fist or the art of kicking and punching. It combines combat techniques, self-defense, exercise, as well as philosophy. So, number four, it is claimed to be the world's most popular martial art. So, the most popular martial art uh, sport. A looser translation of it could be the art of the foot and fist or the art of kicking and punching. So, lots of kicking and punching here. It combines compa uh, combat techniques, self-defense exercise, as well as philosophy. So, I think we all know the answer here that it's Taekwondo. You're using a lot of kicking in the Taekwondo. Number five here, let's listen. Five. It originated in Britain in the late 19th century. It is usually played between two players, singles, or two teams of two players each, doubles. Each player uses a racket to strike a hollow rubber ball covered with felt over a net and into the opponent's side of the court. The surface of the court is usually clay, asphalt, or grass. So this also has a ball, a racket, and a net. It originated in Britain, the late 19th century. It usually played between two players, singles, or two teams of two, which called doubles. Each player uses a racket to strike a hollow rubber ball covered with felt over a net and into the opponent's side of the court. The surface of the court, it's not the same. Sometimes it's clay, sometimes it's asphalt or grass. So I think this is an easy one here. So the answer is tennis, because tennis, just like ping pong, you can play one against one or two against two. We we'll call them singles or uh, doubles. Continuing with exercise K here on page 113, write as many words as you can to describe what is happening in the picture. So if you open your book, page 113, you can see the picture. You can see the picture, write as many words as you can to describe what is happening in this picture. Then change these actions, change these action words, meaning the verbs, into the ing form, gerunds, write sentences about the picture starting with gerund. So what about the action words here, the verbs? Look at the picture and try to get as many verbs, action words as you can. So let's see some of the verbs that I came up with. Sit, smile, look at, play, laugh, kneel, throw, watch, have a picnic, of course, enjoy. So these are some of the actions or the verbs that I've seen in the picture. What about the gerunds? The gerunds, of course, the verb plus the ing. Let's see the answer here. Uh, sitting, smiling, looking at, playing, showing, kneeling, throwing, watching, having a picnic, and enjoying. So, gerund is the same as the verb, but we add ing. So, let's get to the second part of the question. Write sentences about the picture starting with gerund. So, these are the gerunds here. Try to come up with some sentences here. Write sentences about the pictures about the picture starting with gerund. So I've written three, uh, three examples or three sentences. You can write more, you can write less, you can write two, three, but it's better that you write more than three for the exercise. So number one, I've written sitting on the grass and watching the children play on a sunny morning is one of the most enjoyable things for parents. That is very correct, of course. Sitting on the grass, this is a gerund here, 
and watching the children play on a sunny morning is one of the most enjoyable things for parents. So what about number two? Can you come up with, the, with a second sentence? Let's see here. Having a picnic in the country under the shade of a tree is a common weekend pastime in countries with a warm climate. Again, having a picnic in the country under the shade of a tree is a common weekend pastime in countries with, with a warm climate. The third sentence that I've written, playing with my sister when we were little used to be a lot of fun. Playing with my sister when, when we were little used to be a lot of fun. So these are some of the sentences that I came up using the gerund, which I took from the picture. Exercise L here, writing, describe the best sporting event you've ever seen in person or on TV. Answer the following questions. So all of these questions you will answer according to your own experience, the best sporting event you've ever seen. What sport was it? Who won? Who was in the competition? What made it exciting? Where did you see it? Describe, describe highlights of the game or event. Who were you with? Who did, who did you support? If you're watching it on TV, who did you support? So what sport was it? So my answer is it was football. It was uh, football. So you can write your own experience, football, basketball, very vo uh, volleyball. And so who won? So who won? I said here Argentina. Who was in the competition? Of course, I'm mentioning here the uh, World Cup final between Argentina and France. Who was in the competition? The whole competition. 32 different countries in the World Cup. So who was in the competition? It had 32 different countries, different teams in the World Cup, of course, including uh, Saudi Arabia. What made it exciting? I think this is an easy one here. What made it exciting? It was the final. What made it exciting? Because it was the final between France and Argentina, because this is the best sporting event I've ever seen, the final of the World Cup. Where did you see it? I saw it at my uncle's house. Describe highlights of the game or event. Argentina players lifting the World Cup. Of course, this is the best uh, the highlight of the event here. Who were you with? I was with my family and with my friends. So I made here uh, first make notes in the world map, sporting event, game highlight, who and where and when. So the sporting event is the Football World Cup final. Game highlight, Argentina players lifting the World Cup. Where and when it was held in Qatar 2022. The location is in Qatar. And when is 2022? Who? between France and Argentina. So now use your world map to help you write your essay. So when you finish your world map about your most specific event, the most exciting event you've ever witnessed, use the world map to write just a small essay here. For example, I've written the Football World Cup is a tournament held every four years. The 2022 World Cup was held in Qatar. It was really exciting tournament filled with many competitive matches, but the best match was the final between Argentina and France. It was a really exciting game filled with an enthusiastic atmosphere. Argentina won the final and the players celebrated lifting the World Cup. It was the best sporting event I ever witnessed. So this is my own essay, my own writing. Write whatever uh, essay you want using your own, uh, your own words. Let's revise what we previously took in the uh, for meaning and function. If you remember the present perfect progressive versus the present perfect simple. And remember the progressive is focusing on the time, the duration, the rather than the action itself in the present perfect simple. And both of them that the event started a long time ago in the past and is still happening until now. Also using how long, how do we know? using for or since in the present perfect progressive or maybe the uh, simple of course use the present perfect progressive tense with for 
to know the duration for two months. And we use sense to know the beginning, the, we pinpoint the beginning of the action. We use the present perfect progressive with all to talk about the duration of the action, which may or may not have finished. Also, we took the adverbs of manner to describe how something is done or to express how something is done. They are normally formed by adding ly to the adjective. For example, here, careful, carefully, except, for, of course, uh, for example, the word fast, he's a fast runner, he runs fast and hard, he's a hard worker, he works hard. Also, good is well, the adverb form of good is well, and also we took the comparative forms of adjectives and adverbs, uh, if the one-syllable adjectives, we just add er, if it's two or more, we add more, for example, uh, more carefully, more difficult, and so on. And we have some irregularities here. For example, good becomes better, bad becomes worse. We also took than and as as. We use than to, co to compare between two things. The athlete trains harder than all other athletes. We use as as to show two items are the same in some way. They are the same in some way. Skiing is as dangerous. So we are comparing the dangerous here as snowboarding we use not as as to show items are not the same in some way the fold-up bicycle is not as bulky as the regular bicycle so these are today's objectives for the project design a poster of a famous sport so you'll be designing a poster of a famous sport a long list, a long list of different uh, sports and events are included in the summer olympics such as, so these are all of these are some uh, uh, some sports that you can see in the Summer Olympics: archery, uh, athletics, badminton, basketball, boxing, canoeing, cycling, diving, equ equestrian, fencing, field hockey, football, gymnastics, handball, judo, pentathlon, rowing, sailing, shooting, swimming, table tennis, taekwondo, tennis, triathlon, volleyball, water polo, weightlifting and wrestling so all of these sports you can see in the summer olympics of course not the winter olympics that we have talked about in some previous lessons circle the ones that you are familiar with so the ones that you know just circle them the ones that you are familiar uh, with for example I, th I think that all of you know uh, boxing and football so the ones that you know that the ones that you are familiar with circle them Find out if your classmates know more about the sports or events that you are not familiar with. So then compare who knows more. So compare who knows more. Number two here, work in pairs or groups. Research and find out which sports or events are the most popular ones. So you can see which is the most popular event or uh, sport. Choose two popular sports or events to research and collect information about. So you'll be researching some sports. Choose two popular sports to research and collect information about. Use the chart to make notes and select photos or pictures. Design and make a poster to display on the wall of your classroom for your classmates to read. Answer questions about your poster. So all of these uh, sports or events, you have to choose two and make a little uh, research about it to gather some information to fill the chart. So here's a list of sports that you might need help defining. This is a little help for you, a list of sports that you might need help defining. Archery, the sport of shooting arrows from a bow. So you have a bow and you have an arrow and you shoot the arrow from the bow. Athletics, track and field sports, which means running and uh, jumping. Badminton, a game similar to tennis, but played with a shot lock, a small feathered object. Fence, uh, fencing, a sport of armed combat using bladed weapons. Fencing, a smart armed combat using blade weapons, of course, and some mask to cover the face uh, with. Field hockey, I think which you know, a sport in which a team of players attempts to score goals by hitting, pushing, or flickering or flicking a ball 
into an opposing team's goal using sticks. Gymnastics, a sport involving performance of exercises, of exercises requiring physical strength, flexibility, agility, coordination, balance, and grace. Handball, a sport in which two teams, often of seven players, each pass a ball to throw it into the goal of the other team. The team with the most goals wins after two periods of 30 minutes. Pentathlon, a sport contest which includes five events. So, pentathlon has five events. Pistol shooting, fencing, freestyle swimming, uh, show, jump, show jumping and a three kilometer cross country run. So it has five events. Triathlon, from the name itself, tri, you know, it's three. A multi sport event involving the completion of swimming, cycling, and running in an immediate succession over a various distances. So triathlon includes swimming, cycling, and running. So this is the chart. Here, when you do some research about a two, of course, two sports, you have to fill the chart here. Name the sport or event, date it was introduced in Olympics, history, which means the place of origin, development, popularity, key people, the objective of the game, sport, event. What's the objective here? What do you have to do? First and last gold medalist and countries of origin, current status in the Olympics and the World Championship. Preparation of athletes, inclusion of in the Olympics, semifinals or finals. So you have to do a research about two sports and fill this chart. And with that, we reach the end of this lesson. See you next lesson, insha'Allah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu la la astaghfirka wa tubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum.